Hey guys, it's Scott here of uh, What a Mess Railroad. I thought I'd just make a short little update on uh, the layout. Uh, I was just uh, working on some uh, turnouts here. Finally trying to get them set up. What a time I've had with this, I'll tell you. Uh, first problem was this track here. The outer rail is a little high in this spot. So I had to take it out and flatten it. I guess I must have... I guess didn't put enough adhesive or too much adhesive or weight or something there, but I don't know, something went wrong. So I finally got that fixed. And then when I was putting this one in, this track here was a little tilted down the way. So I had to lift it up and straighten it so now it's straight. Oh, look at this. We have a little visitor coming. There's something you don't see often on this layout. A train running. We have been the uh, breaking in the new loco here. Um, he is definitely a stubborn little bugger because he's the one that's giving me all the problems. I guess it must be because he's short. I'll just say that because uh, yeah, um, he's the one that won't stay on the tracks so and that I've been working. I don't know how long trying to get it. Uh, fixed, but, uh, anyway, uh, like I was saying, I had to fix this track here, and this, this track also had to be fixed, where it didn't line up, and then I found out it was like a millimeter and a half low on this side, so I had to put a piece of plastic in and flatten it out, and it's all in now, it doesn't look pretty there, but, and then, I couldn't get power there because I don't have all the feeders in but I didn't realize that I cut the rail here so I cut it twice because I cut it on two different days gotta really learn to figure out what I'm doing too many banks to the head can't remember what I'm doing so I had to put some solder on that to get it back and uh, working uh, let's see what else problem did I run into oh yes um, actually here pull this little nail out um, since I don't have anything to hold the uh, turnouts properly the frog here um, when I built the, uh, the the switch turnout here I guess apparently this frog was slightly high I mean even though I run my fingers across them and if they're high I file them down and everything it seemed fine to me. It was running, as you can tell, it runs back and forth. Great. Never had any issues. The other switch was fine. This switch was fine. But when I went to turn it off, uh, the other direction, see if we can get it here, the uh, wheel kept falling off. So I kind of hemmed and hawed and around, and I kind of felt it. Still couldn't find it. I resoldered this because I thought it was a little too uh, close together. That wasn't the problem. I checked all this, resoldered, take it apart. Still kept falling off the track. See, now he wants to be temperamental. He was working fine there for ages. Oh. See, this is the problem when you don't have uh, proper... Uh, um, things to hold the points in place and uh, yeah it was working fine of course when you shoot the video nothing ever goes right does it let's see if I can get them to work right this time even though I don't have anything really to hold the uh, points into position let's see if he runs into the guy this time again Because I had it working perfect, it ran over it about 700 times, no issues whatsoever. But, hey, I guess that's the law of shooting a video. Okay, see? It's just not holding the, the points properly. But, uh, the other thing is, is that, uh, I can't, I don't know why I'm even bothering putting feeders or anything, or the wire for the frog changed clarity. Because, um, at the moment, 
it's just running from the track, the power going through here. There's nothing connected, nowhere. So, I don't know why I'm wasting my time putting wires and feeders in to the frog and powering them up, because apparently they work great without it. I guess all those little copper frets going back and forth uh, seem to be doing the job. So anyway, guys, uh, I guess this is kind of dragging it a little long about switches. I thought I'd just show you uh, show you the uh, train on the track, since it, uh, the train actually does run. Ah. So now I just have to get uh, some uh, servos or... Uh, or pedo switch machines. I think I might try one of those to see what happens. And uh, as far as uh, running around the train, there's uh, one more switch down there I have to do, and once that's done, the train will be able to run all the way around. Even though I still go back and forth, Ron, one day, one day, I'll be able to run a complete oval or something. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.